What was that happening? Uh, want to speak here on uh, like uh, just some principles. Uh, the principle of uh, like competition or striving with the priest. It's actually hyper uh, competition, or it's almost like uh, we're the cool kids. Those guys over there aren't cool. We don't associate with them. It's the it's the whole Samaritan, uh, the Levite and the Pharisee go by the man, and the good Samaritan knows good enough to uh, help someone and have uh, mercy and uh, uh, charity. Uh, so the way I see things, instead of thinking of things as like uh, even if you look. There's a part where Paul has to kind of rebuke everyone and be like, look, you, you have preferences of, uh, like, in other words, you have denominations. At their, that time, their denomination was uh, different, uh, like, speakers of different areas. Like, the local guy, we like him more. Uh, we prefer this guy, so we be his disciples. And Paul's like, no, man, you're not my disciples. Even if I baptized you, it's like, look, all of us are... Uh, all of us are under Christ, so it's like, look, instead of think of, of people as your, as your, you know, your cult leader, uh, you know, your uh, mascot, whatever, it's like, kind of look, see it as uh, they're all doing something for the kingdom of God. One guy's planting, the other guy's watering, but God gives the increase in both situations, and uh, I was reading Romans last night. And he was he was distinguishing that there's two different philosophies within the church. Uh, there's the head and the tail, I guess you could say. There's Christ, the head of the church. The tail is Moses, the Old Testament. Uh, even though it's the elder, but the it, it it's modified by the New Testament, even though it's still there as a record. Uh, to convince people that that there is sin, people have a propensity towards evil for some reason, and without that law, and why is it such a difficult thing to do right? Why does it become such a pain? Why do the people become a thorn in your side and make it like such a? It it almost becomes a negative experience, which and that was not the intent from the beginning. It's supposed to be a joy. To serve, uh, to serve God, serve Christ to your, to, with what was given to you. You know what I'm saying? You can't look and necessarily just uh, get get it by imitation because it's more or less. We also were God knew what He was doing when He created each of us. He's we're all individual, like a snowflake, like fingerprint. So we have our place within that structure that church but the the it seems like the christians these days have an autoimmune deficiency which is like their own body attacks itself like the immune system uh when it's over it's overly defensive and it starts to actually attack the whole own body and the blood becomes toxic and it's a harm to itself and it, it's like it's there's another mention of that too it's like uh that Paul is, uh, he was like, he was saying, it's like, don't, don't be envious uh, of others. Where envy and strife and like, uh, you basically resentment or some kind of grudge that's not, that's added in where those things uh, are, you know, uh, it says glory not. And the hyper competition leads to sore losers. And then sore losers say, nasty things or it's like all right so since i know i'm gonna lose here i'm gonna defame you somehow to save face and uh it, it, there's a lot of that like the worst characteristics of man comes out it's like you the only person you should be in competition with is yourself and you should be actually trying to be learning to better than to to be like michael jordan in all actuality, truly, it's better to be a team player and uh, learn to work together. Like, that's a better philosophy 
than no. just uh, being you know, like uh, I don't know. You, you get so you you can get so isolated that it's like it's good to have you know your own relationship with God. But look, that says forsake not the assembly. So even if you you got like you don't you're not uh, you know in total agreement about life issues or non like look secondary third dairy issues, you shouldn't like uh, bash each other about even though we both are seeking out what's right and there's it's mentioned within the book of Romans that there's like two different ways about it but in the end it's the, kind of the same like he said look there are many gifts but it's all the same spirit there are many members but yet they are all the body of Christ and I, I could see it says where there be divisions amongst you there must be heresies also. You know what I'm saying? So the whole, like me, I'm not a Republican. I'm not a Democrat. Uh, you know, I'm not a denominational church guy. It's just, look, I, I just believe in, in the scriptures and what they say. And uh, it, I also seen in another book in there, Paul was talking about like people kind of being like, they're hating on different guys that they're not, familiar with who also were preaching and Paul was telling him he's like look you're you're devoting your energy over here to something that you shouldn't be in the end it's like look they're 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 preaching on Christ and even if their motives be false it's like Christ will still be glorified so don't undermine that and if the person look if the person had insincere motives eventually he'll be found out and God will sort them out. God will give them. It says for every temptation that we we find ourselves in, there's a way out. Uh, so even if you're, uh, this is what this whole uh, Bible thing's about. It's about being guilty and being forgiven. You know what I'm saying? So that's uh, that's good. That's good news for all you you, you criminals out there and corrupt people and uh, look brainwashed, uh, indoctrinated. Uh, and dumb down people, uh, you know, laden with iniquity. And this is, this is myself included in this category here because I've been through all these same mechanisms and, uh, and have had to shake that, that, bad, that bad mojo out of my brain uh, and, and see it for what it is. Uh, it's not easy. It's like literally... Uh, life is uh the way they got it set up is so illusionary illusionatory and uh it's the same thing with some of this stuff it's it's all in your head like uh someone was saying i can't listen to that person preach and i was like well you gotta modify your thinking uh and and not be so like one-dimensional and preferatory it's not that you want to have many teachers for to satisfy your itching ears it's just uh it's like so? you got to be able to hear the matter out before you uh uh pre are prejudiced like it's not that you you can't judge the matter it's just don't judge the matter before you hear it all the way out so it's kind of like there's there's a whole bunch of division and that 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 those come from heresies uh and all this kind of like uh preferences doesn't doesn't provoke uni doesn't promote unity same thing with the whole who wants to go towards the head or the tail and they they're contending towards one another like this is how you get saved no this is how you do it uh and in the process they're tearing each other down and they're taking their eyes kind of off the the true the true culprit it's like okay someone wants to stay on the new testament eventually they're going to run out of books to read from the new testament and they're going to have to go back to the prophets and to genesis and exodus and leviticus deuteronomy 
uh, in numbers. They're going to have to, if they want more, if they want to go and get, like, get in the, the, the backdrop information, you have, do you know that Job is older than uh, the book of Genesis? Even though Genesis, the pretext about it is before Job. But these aren't just commonly known uh, subjects here. It's like you see Psalm 147 and Job 38. Psalms 47, a big chunk of it, is ripped straight out of Job uh, 38. Uh, little, little things like that. Uh, but if you see, these guys weren't, uh, they weren't, bashing each other that that wrote all the books of the bible these and look that's the thing it's so hard to get three people in the room to agree and how did all these men that wrote this bible how did they all end up in in agreement it's because it wasn't from men's spirit it was from god's spirit and uh they weren't competitive with one another it was like every man had his uh his job to, to fulfill it's just like in the Old uh, Testament tabernacle. Each man was given a different, each tribe was given different jobs for the religious service. Like some people would bring this article of fabric. Another person would be, they had to bring the clean uh, utensils or uh, bowls, etc., etc. Uh, so it's like we all have a part, but you know, a hand and a foot, the operation is different, and they're going to look different, but yet the spirit that is blessing and given the gifts or leading and guiding is the same. So it's, uh, um, you know, you want to, the, the body of Christ almost like, look, according to most people's like uh, expectation, we should look like a pirate, you know, uh, with peg legs and uh hook hands uh the way that people act towards one another and i mean even myself i've at times came under that same critical judgmental spirit uh because judgment begins at the house of god right but uh every outward judgment is not only a reflection of who you speak of but it's also a re reflection on your own character and that's a good humbling reminder that it's like God gets the glory. God's going to sort them out. It, even we don't always have to uh, stick our nose in it or add our two cents to uh, to competitively like, uh, you know, in defense of the faith. We, uh, you know, we react really extremely on some guy who might just be, uh, he means well, but maybe it's hard to understand uh because we are so prejudiced and quick to jump to conclusions that we assume and uh, I operate off that. I mean, that's, uh, this is, you know, I've done that before and that's uh, immature to do. And, uh, and it was because of a hyper -com -com competition and that leads to a kind of, a, look, that's what haughty is, is uh, over inflated self-importance. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And that's how we look to an outsider watch and even sometimes the way you go, look, if you go about it being a gentleman, can't too much hate on that. Uh, it, it, you know, that's, uh, that's, you know, if you gotta speak on this level, it sounds, it's like, why do you sound like you're possessed? That's where, uh, you know, contentions, contentiousness, and uh, striving and envy and debate. Uh, uh, you know, we're not supposed to glory in that and uh, just be uh, just uh, uh, you know, it's kind of like uh, uh, edify is kind of like, look, it doesn't necessarily mean just to tear it down. It actually sometimes can mean to reinforce. And that's the way we should operate with one another. Is reinforce the truth. Reinforce what's right, what's good and true. And you know what I'm saying? And, and look, help 
help remove blockages or, you know, replace the bad with good.